Hi there, my name is Will Wright. I'm a freelance journalist and writer. You can find me at writeswords.com. That's W-R-I-G-H-T-S, W-O-R-D-S dot com. My favorite works usually deal with the arts and questions of culture and race and how those mix together with politics. And that's just where the Oscar So White controversy sits. And lots of people are talking about it. One, one facet that I haven't heard mentioned, though, is youngsters. How does this controversy affect them? Brown, black, and caramel-colored children and young adults need messages and images that embrace them, that reflect them. How would you feel if you were omitted from, or rarely a part of, Hollywood's highest profile product? The dreams that it has for America. That dream factory, which is Hollywood's nickname, affects everyone's dreams. But if youngsters of color don't see themselves reflected in Hollywood or America's sense of itself, how does that affect them? It reminds me of a documentary from the late 20th century called Ethnic Notions. It shows in somewhat disturbing detail just how common racial stereotypes have been in America's products, in America's movies. Usually they were stereotypes about about black Americans, but it didn't begin or end there. Will Oscars so white punch holes in the self-image and sense of self that young people of color have? What about their sense of belonging to America? These are vital questions. Again, my name is Will Wright. I'm a freelance journalist and writer. My favorite stories usually have to do with the arts and questions of culture and race and how they mix with politics. You can find me at writeswords.com. That's W-R-I-G-H-T-S, W-O-R-D-S dot com. If you like this video, please press like and share it amongst your friends. Thank you for your time.